carnivore diet update. update. <laughs> Go for it. No, I was just saying update with you. Yeah, but that's that's all I was gonna say. Oh, okay. This, well, I'm done with update actually, as well. It's more. This is more focused on you at this moment. Oh, okay. All right. So the update is, I got my CAC score. You guys know. Okay, we started well, carnivore seven up. six months over six months ago. Yeah. And um, we did zero carb carnivore, and um, most carnivores have maybe some carbs or whatever, but like with dairy, but we did no spices, no um, dairy, and it was basically lion, which was, you know, lion diet, which is more extreme. We did that and got our cholesterol, and it was sky high for both of us. Found out where this thing called LMHR, the lean mass hyper responders, uh, both of us. When we got our cholesterol, we went to our cardiologist and he said we were gonna die. Yeah. Literally. So my cholesterol, it's supposed to be under 200 for total cholesterol. Mine was 625 in three and a half months. And, and it was normal all the rest of my life. Uh, Steve is normal all the rest of his life and yours was what the first time? Uh, 300 and something, 380 was, or something? Mine was the second highest that our, our primary doctors have ever seen. Steph's was the highest. Yeah. But it, all the other markers though, by the way, were Great. Really good. Our cardiologist had me do a stress test, had me do an echocardiogram, um, and then some something else, and then the CAC score. And my CAC score just came back in. But on the other things, the stress and the other one. Great. Did great. Yeah. And then the CAC is gonna they give you a score on the the uh, particles, right? Um. Yeah. Just know on your arteries uh, if you have any clogging. Oh. So um, they did a sonogram too of my heart. My CAC score, I assumed I would probably have some, just, but I know by my age, I'm 40, almost 48. Um, I probably will have some by now, but not a lot maybe if, on a normal so diet, you but just don't know. I assumed it would probably have some, but it's zero. Not, not zero little, score. it's zero, I have none. So my cal, or my, um, what's it called? Cholesterol is not sticking. So yeah. that's ideal. I don't, I can't wait to see what the cardiologist has to say after all these other tests that I've done and everything's fine because he said we were basically gonna die. Yeah. So- um, You will not be around to see the results of this carnivore diet. <laughs> right, so it's more proof. Oh, and another thing too. Um, so our cholesterol, there was a whole thing with these LMHR people where you can lower your cholesterol just by adding in some carbs. One of the big, the guys that's part of that, uh, Dave, Dave Feldman, Dave Nick, Feldman Norwitz. Nick Norwitz. Mm -hmm. Nick Norwitz did the, the controversial Oreo, eating Oreos, a sleeve of Oreos every day for two weeks, two or, weeks whatever, or something. And lowered his, his to normal uh, levels. Yeah. So the, my whole thing has been with these doctors is they want to put you on a statin, of course, and yeah. there's dangers to statins. And if you can just lower your cholesterol by adding in some carbs for people that are, have the LMHR thing, um, then why not do it? So. We have been, Steve's now doing it too. He's added some carbs in. And I've only, I've been tracking it. I've only been doing like 20 carbs because I want to try to stay keto if I can. And keto, I don't know, most people in LMHR are doing 50 to 100 carbs. So they're definitely not carnivore anymore or keto or, or anything at that point. But um, I've only been doing about 20. Um, and guess what? I just got my cholesterol done yesterday oh, yeah. <laughs> and my test just came in today. Steve got his done yesterday or day before yesterday, but he got a bunch of other tests done too. But my cholesterol dropped from 625 down to 478 just by having some carbs. A little sweet potato here and there. Yeah. That's really good. And just so you guys know, that home tester that we did, that was not accurate. Oh, so yeah. that got returned. <laughs> yeah. It did not, it was not accurate compared to the blood test. The blood test I took that day actually on January 12th was 587, my cholesterol. So it went from 625 to 587, just adding some carbs for a little while. And since then, now it was 12.9, it went to 478. Before we get too far ahead. Good news. Yeah, that's really, really good news because that was, we were, we were attempting to lower them. And some people are gonna say, why do you care if you, why are you lowering it? Yeah. Why, you know, what is, the, the thing, it's easy to say that you know, it's like, say, hey, we feel great, just go for it. But we're still not 100% sure, just because for so long, we've all been told how bad cholesterol is. We're learning more, but there's still this thing we want some peace of mind. Yeah. And eating a sweet potato isn't gonna, hasn't affected me at all. Like we started this diet because of, I have ankylosis and spondylitis, 
I got other issues. Uveitis. Yeah, and so my autoimmune went away and we've had a lot of benefits of it, but we're still, we're just being cautious. Like we need, we, we're, we need more information. It's not fun being- Test at, subjects. Yeah, the test subjects in the beginning of something that's, you know, starting to get more and more attention. Yeah. So that's why we're doing it. We're, and we're and not telling anybody else what to do. We're just saying, this is what we're doing to feel comfortable. After all the history that we've done reading and learning about cholesterol, I'm a firm believer that high cholesterol is okay. Um, if, think, if you don't, if you're metabolically healthy, otherwise, yes. um, and your trigs are really low and your, um, LDL is low yes. or your HDL, your HDL is low, then that's okay. But I just don't want mine to be astronomically high. I mean, if I'd be okay, if it got down into the three hundreds, which it should be below 200, 300s would be okay with me. I just don't want to be 625 or, and climbing, you know? Because so I want to lower it a little bit. Like, like just to be safe. Six months from now, we might be saying, hey, breaking news. And yeah, 600 is even better. I know that there's evidence that people with high cholesterol, there's benefits to that too. Like yeah. there's, there's studies out there, especially in the UK, where they followed thousands of people. And there was a, a consistent theme with the ones that were living longer was high cholesterol. And low cholesterol is where it's really dangerous. Yeah. You don't want to have too low. Anyway, it's We're working. Not it's working though. So adding in some carbs is working for us, LMHRs. Um, it doesn't seem to affect us in any way. Like I don't feel different on it, like having some. Like I can't uh, say that it's making me um, have more energy, less energy. I can't say that well, can tell eating, much of a difference, but we're not having a ton. Yeah, we're not know? eating more carbs than we are food. So that's, I mean, we're still oh, yeah, steak, no. steak every single day. Steph's throwing fish in there and stuff. But. I'm trying to, t I was, I was doing two meals a day and I, I, right now I'm doing one meal a day, but I know LMHR people, you should probably do multiple meals, but I'm just experimenting. I, I want to get in ketosis and I can't seem to get in ketosis unless I do one meal a day. I don't know if I'm overeating or what, but I just want to be in ketosis for a while and see what that's all about. I'm doing one meal a day right now. When I was doing two, I was trying to do chicken for one or fish for one. And then the steak, of course, my favorite would be for dinner. But right now I'm just doing the steak because, and I, like yesterday and the day before, did a can of sardines and then ate my steak. And then whatever, when I got full, that was it. I put the rest in the fridge for leftover. So that, leftovers. that might so, have some impact on it too, on your cholesterol. It could. Who knows with the one meal a day. Yeah, we're also not eating the fried, air fried fat bites anymore, where it's just yeah. beef fat that I was getting from the butcher and air frying it. It's delicious, but we cut that out. We also stop, or I stopped buttering my steak. I stopped putting butter in my coffee. I know coffee's not carnivore, but a lot of carnivores drink coffee. And I did stop coffee for over a month. And since it didn't, I just put it back in just to see what would happen with this cholesterol test. And it didn't seem to spike me or anything that I know of. So I'm fine with having coffee back. I'm still eating steak every single day, putting butter on steak. Me too. I eat eggs every single day. I mean, and I'm eating two meals and I, I feel great. Steph took the CAC thing. I'm getting. A, I had to pay out of pocket. It was two hundred bucks, by the way, for that. I'm, I'm taking a. Uh, I think it's called CT. It's a, a contrast where they, I guess they inject something into me and they can see it mm -hmm. go through my. System. Yours is gonna be more accurate and a better test, but his. We have different insurance. His insurance covers it. Mine doesn't. So I just did the out of pocket. His is gonna cover that. So he's getting that test and yeah. it's gonna be better. So I did. I had to do a bunch of blood work prior, mm -hmm. and then they're gonna call me. Everything's slow. That's the bad thing about my insurance is it's slow, but they're paying for it. So I'm gonna. I'll get that, and we'll see what my score is. I don't anticipate it being a zero, but I'll be happy if it's if it's a low number. Yeah. Zero. I mean, I don't know what the number. I'm is. shocked. I'm a zero. Good. Like if it's three, okay. Is you know. Yeah. yeah like zero. I never smoked or you know. Me neither. Did any sort of. I've never had a really crazy lifestyle. I wasn't doing all fast food all the time. There wasn't, um, Not a you lot know, of, um, we've been really healthy the last two and a half years yeah. though on carnivore on and a, AIP. Yeah. We don't have extreme things in our life. You know, neither one of us drink. We have drank in the past and we weren't good at it. <laughs> so we, don't, we don't know how to drink. We're not good drinkers. Yeah, we don't smoke. So I'm sure that that helps. Yep. I imagine smoking, not Smoking's smoking. Smoking's with the bad, yeah. the r really bad. So but, you know, mine's gonna be that mine's gonna be that contrast thing, and I'll be thrilled if it's low. I, I'm hoping that I think it will score. be because you're such an athlete. I but you are older than that, me, twelve years older than me. So I don't think, as you get older, things. You always say, up. "Oh, you're such an athlete." I exercise. That that helps. You but exercise. It doesn't mean, but it doesn't mean that that you can't have bad things. 
That's like true. There, there could be things that I'm not aware of. You could have that the buildup. There, there's young people that die and they do I know. autopsy. They find and it they in weren't there. smoking or drinking or doing anything exactly. either. So, so there's some people. You're going to get it. But I don't exercise at all. So other than just walk on the dog. But I don't exercise. So I thought maybe I could be a little clogged up. But I'm just relieved I'm not. I'm really relieved. I think the clogginess is mainly from diet and things like that. Yeah, and um, like genetic things. My parents yeah. don't seem to have cloggy things. So I don't know. We will see. Well, that's where we're at. Steve, both yeah. of Steve's parents smoke their whole lives. So yeah. it's hard to tell with them what, what his My genes really died. are. My dad died from... Um, from smoking, yeah. basically, and my mom, she survived brain cancer. Yeah. So go figure that. I know. know. And she smoked. So there, you just don't know. I know it's not good. Like I know smoking is not good for you at all. But some people will survive those things, and others won't. Yeah. That's a bummer. I know. Bummer. <laughs> well, but anyways. we are so excited. I'm so relieved just to know all these tests have are okay which i mean i kind of thought they would be but you just don't know until you do them and there's always a thing of like what am i doing to my body but i feel better about it and i'm looking forward to that there's an lmhr um like a one year retest oh, yeah. of all the 100 people that did that well, they, they tested if originally know, if you don't know what you're talking about they had a group of people that they were test, test the lmhrs and they followed them for a year and while they were doing this they got the attention of somebody in the Miami Heart thing. Well, I'm not probably saying this right, but there was yeah. another study going on with, with people in the Miami Heart research. Let's call it that. They, they teamed up, and so they matched up. Like, say, say if I was one of the people in the LMHR, they would match me up with somebody at the Miami Heart, same age, maybe neither one of us smoke, we exercise. They, they did a really good job of making the, peop, the matchups really similar to compare yeah. yeah and the first round so they did it a year and it looked really good it, they they look really good for the lmhrs and they they can't say conclusively that they're trending even in a better way than the other group but they're they're thinking that that's what's going to happen so now february is the second year that they because they anniversary. Them again yeah the anniversary so they did it so they're going to follow up and see if more plaque is accumulated yes. on these lmhr people or less What's or no change like? or whatever versus a regular group they get to so them. it'll be interesting and it seems like it's going to change all of what everybody's thought about cholesterol because um if if it turns out that there is no cholesterol accumulating in people that are lmhrs then the whole cholesterol myth of having high cholesterol is abolished in that it's interesting it's a neat time to be doing this in our lives right now because there's some stuff coming out so yeah. and oh, also cool. kind of there's still some apprehension sometimes like like that's why we were adjust trying to adjust our cholesterol because this is so far out of the norm yeah what is there some underlying thing that we're not aware of yet and but i do like the fact that we feel good like yes. to me that's a big deal like if we're feeling good and there, there would be some kind of sign, like if we, you know what I mean? Yeah, heart palpitations, something. He's 60 now. Yeah, I just turned 60. I, I, I don't have, I haven't had a heart attack, so, so <laughs> yes. I'm still alive. <laughs> Good. But I wanted to do it too, because I was worried about, like I, Steve has the um, autoimmune stuff, so he needs to do something to just, yeah. it's one or the other, either have autoimmune stuff or maybe counteract it by diet if he doesn't want to be on meds and he doesn't want to be on meds. The main um, thing was my eyes. Yeah. Like, like the, when we were doing another diet, uh, the, uh, what's it called? AIP, autoimmune the, protocol. The autoimmune protocol was working great, but then I had another it, episode After we had all that eyes. stuff done in our house, and we, like six months yeah. of all the stress, he From had a last flare. year's historic atmospheric rivers. Yeah. But when that happened with my eye again, I started doing more research, and I just told Steph, hey, this thing here... I found out, you know, like there was a guy from Imagine Dragons has ankylosing spondylitis, and I, from that reading about what he was doing, it led me to another thing where people were eating just the meat, and I had heard about it but never really dived into it, and then I said, hey, I want to try that because I don't want to go blind. Yeah, <laughs> just, I lose an eye. I lose want to keep my eyes as long as I can. Yeah. So that's why we're doing it, and so far it has been. Fantastic. And I want to do it too because I'm doing it just along the run, you know, going along with him. 
but Makes it I love it. I love the way I feel on it. I, I, I'm a firm believer you now in the yeah. whole uh, cholesterol. I think it's so great for all the things you read it for your brain, for you know all of your cells being healed and all yeah. kinds of stuff. And I feel so good on it. I didn't want to give it up. So yeah. I'm relieved. And I know you guys have been worried about us. So yeah. um, we'll see what Steve's test comes in and then we'll go from there. But for now, I'm saying I'm sticking like this. Just going to have some carbs and hopefully it'll keep climbing down. My cholesterol, my high cholesterol. But see, even that, we don't even like what it number may not be is the bad. gold number that you want. You I just I mean? don't want to be in the 600s. I it feel is, better at 480. You don't want to be alone. Or whatever. 470. You're basically alone, like in that, that area, the 600s. Yeah. You're alone. I the know LMHRs are, are high, above 250, I think you have to be to be LMHR, but there aren't a ton of us, I don't think, in the group that are as high as I was. Well, but when you go to your doctor and Mine was the highest they'd ever, mine was the second highest they have ever seen. And hers is way higher than mine. <laughs> that's, like that's kind of, that just doesn't, you know, that does make you pause and say, wait, I'm the only human being they've ever seen that has the that, cardiologist that level. and yeah. our two doctors. They, no other human being has came, they've come across that had that high it makes you go, whoa. <laughs> it's kind of scary and also just thinking of is my body not processing correctly is something wrong and am i damaging it so that's that's what the thing is when i'm totally fine on a regular standard american diet yeah. and i don't have to be in this so but i i want to i love it i believe in it i think it's great and i love not having cravings yeah. like i love carnivore the way it makes you feel all the benefits all the things that it does but just not having any cravings where I just don't even care about the best desserts people. or sweets or snacks or anything. I'm just totally satiated all the time and it's yep. fantastic. That's why so. it's great for people to lose weight, you know, especially if you, you've got to lose that weight. Yeah. You know, it's it's life saving and that lack of cravings is a weird, that's a weird thing. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to tell you guys what I've changed just so you know, in case somebody else is in the same boat or maybe you're finding this because you're LMHR later. Here's what I changed. I started incorporating, we were just doing beef pretty much and maybe like pork ribs or Steak. something like that. Sometimes okay. really fatty, really fatty. We're doing chuck roast is basically what we eat every day. But I started adding in um, some more chicken. And actually when I added the carbs in, that's when the chicken started sounding better because chicken sounded disgusting Isn't and I weird? still don't really want it, but I'll eat it. But chicken and salmon, I'm just trying to get more omegas or sardines. So I'm trying to get some more omegas in that way. Um, I was kind of cutting back on eggs, but I'm back to the regular. I'm having two two eggs a meal. So um, <clears throat> I did cut out coffee, but I added it back. It's fine. Uh, but I'm not buttering in my coffee. I'm not buttering my steak, and I'm not um, eating the fried fat bites. So I'm trying to incorporate a few leaner meats. We are eating avocado now instead of um, buttering, like but dipping your steak in butter and eating the fried fat. We're having avocado instead of that. And I'm eating butter. Yeah, he's having butter on his, but he's also having avocado. Um, but it's a good way to get fat. We're having maybe like a half an avocado, a quarter to a half each meal. Um, adding in sweet potato, when I say small sweet potatoes, they're like, you know, like little, little guys. One or two of these, depending on how big they are. But I'm also having sauerkraut, because I love it, and it's great with steak. Um, occasional cottage cheese, and um, maybe like when I was doing two meals and having snacks and stuff, I would have maybe yogurt or something like that. But right now I'm trying to eat it all in one meal so there's no place for it. Maybe some salsa on my eggs, you know, olives, having a couple olives. That's pretty much it, pickles. Yeah. That's what's going on. That's right. all that's changed. Yeah, that's all that's changed. Oh, and I'm eating nuts also. So, like we've said on every one of these videos, when there's something to update, we will update. I know some people are can, starting to worry about us. If, if we're not saying anything, there doesn't mean that anything bad's happening. No. It's, it's been, we've had a lot of company. Yes. Steph went out of town for a while, then we had a lot of company, and we had, you know, her parents and grandkids, we had all this stuff going on, and then it started yeah. raining nonstop. Like, you guys, I'm sure, have seen it in the news. The California? Yeah, so it, we're, we're, we're pretty, just busy. Yeah, we're, we're busy, busy like that. But whenever there's something that, that we feel like, Hey, this is this might be interesting to you guys, and some other people might glean something from this information. That's when we're doing it. We're not avoiding talking to anybody, but it's just we just feel we're like, what can we say? Every single day, I can get up and go, feeling freaking good again. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I mean, nothing big is changing. That's all we would be able to say. Yeah. But we want, we do want to share this because we know 
there's people behind us and when they started and and people that were ahead of us as we've been doing it that helped so much like we would come on here and, and tell you what was going on and we read the comments and we go oh okay we got to add more butter or the balance get you know yeah. like we learn from other people sharing and that's what we're doing it's just that we don't have a whole lot <laughs> to share other than so we feel great carrying yeah. on we're still trying to do it carnivore. a lot of energy but our next update we're not going to probably update carnivore unless something crazy happens but it will be when steve does his test and the results come in and then um then when we go see the cardiologist i'm so curious to see what he's going to say yeah because i think Especially it's going to blow his mind yours. i think he thinks we're on the verge of death and then to see that nothing has and we it's been six months and if nothing's sticking and we our particle size there, there aren't in there you know we're having like all of our other scores and test things that we did, like A1C and all kinds of things yeah. like that, they're all amazing. Like really good, no problems with glucose, um, Stress no insulin us, resistance, nothing. Heart, Everything's great. We are absolutely should, healthy, other than just our our bad cholesterol is high. You should get a hold so. of his wife too. Say hey, I wanna, can she be in there when we do our meeting? Or just say hey, I want to send you some. Uh, I would I really like. You know. I have a feeling we're going to go in and he wouldn't have looked at anything in our chart until we were in the room. I would like to have him review it before we go in and I don't know how to do that, but... We could send it to them and ask them to, hey, tell him to review this. Yeah. We maybe know find busy. out his wife's name and send it to her and then say, hey, have him look at this. Yeah. Call the place that she was at. Yeah. Send the information to her because she was curious about it. Now that my... That was a zero. I got a zero on the CAC score, Steph. Now what? We're effectively well, lowering well, <laughs> it with well, some carbs, so no need for a statin if we can continue on this. So and then we got, that's gonna be like, now we have, well, after I get mine done too, we both will have a baseline. Yeah. And then we'll, we plan on checking that like every six months in the beginning, and, or maybe once a year, maybe once a year, because of yours, is mine gonna have radiation involved? I just don't wanna do mammogram every year and radiation from the CAC yeah. every year. but. Um, we'll see if something, if it seems like something's happening, then I'll get another one, but it might just be every two years or something. Yeah. Um, I, cause they were in the same month, I think that CAC had my mammogram and I had to get two mammograms. Yeah, so I didn't getting, like that. Don't want to be getting a bunch of radiation. <laughs> no. All right. So that's where we're at. As soon as I get a call from, I did the blood work. The hospital is going to call and say, Hey, come in or you'll schedule it. I'll go do that. And then we'll let you guys know how good or bad my yeah and if you're wondering why i had to get two mammograms just in case they had breasts. like a shadow or something in there so some flaw in the <laughs> test they wanted me to redo it so they had to redo it and everything's fine i got a sonogram and a um a mammogram and everything was fine they just something came up on the film the wrong way or whatever they so were being, they were being uh, cautious, cautious but i hate to have to have two of them i know i agree right away but I was worried a little bit. I was like, oh, they found in that, something. In that situation, yeah, you needed to do it. Yeah, but I'm relieved. Nothing was there. All right. Well, that's what's going on. We're going to go play poker tonight for the... Tomorrow. Six. Oh, that's tomorrow. So that's what we're going to be doing. And Wish like, us luck. Like I said, if something hum comes up that we, you know, surprises us or makes us feel like, hey, we need to share this, then we will do another video about but it. But you'll see us doing other stuff. But yeah. just, we're not going to flood you guys with carnivore junk yeah. all the time unless something is interesting so that's right that's it all right guys enjoy your life enjoy your life